What's going on, where you at? Your motivation guy is back, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here to make you guys the greatest Fortnite player you could possibly be. Today, we're gonna be talking about organizations. Yeah, man, that's right. The home of some of the greats, G2, Faves, Endless. More specifically, we're gonna talk about the important things that you need to do if you want the best odds of getting scouted and getting your hands on that life-changing contract. So without further ado, it's time to get my favorite candy, Mac. I can't start this without it. It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. When you wanna apply for a brand new opportunity, you need to keep track of your accomplishments so that people can review it. This is no different, man, than just being an artist or being a writer. You no, know, people who wanna scout you wanna see your previous accomplishments so that they can see that you are capable of playing this game called Fortnite. However, organizations just don't wanna endlessly scroll like hard to find footage and clips of your gameplay. This is why you need to make it easy for them to find you and view all your best moments in one place. All right, so this all starts by choosing a catchy name. Don't make it too simple or you're gonna end up just buried among other search results, think like clicks, you know, think, you know, loser fruit, think booga, you know, all distinct names that can be easily found when searched up. Once you've found a good name to really play under, the next step is just keeping record of all your accomplishments. All right, so for your portfolio, there are a variety of content that you should consider including. For starters, you should have clips of yourself with a high kill count, you know, uh, just letting orgs know that you have excellent fighting skills and telling you that's a big plus that can really help you guys out. You know, editing tricks are also important since they just show off how fast you are at building, but just make sure that you're also including clips of your building skills during a match as well. You know, being fast and creative is different than being fast in arena, and orgs are looking for players that can compete in tournaments. Last but certainly not least, you know, definitely um, you should include footage of any tournaments that you win or get high placement in. This is gonna show that you play competitive Fortnite, but that you can make it to the end game and hold your own against other competitive players. You know, one of the best places to really set this up is on YouTube and creating content. Yo, need to improve your skills so you can start making A tier clips? Well, you can get in touch with a variety of different pros that can help coach you into becoming a better player. Learn new techniques, man. Plan out your strategy and get feedback on your gameplay. With Pro Guys, you're guaranteed to learn something new no matter what skill level that you come in with. So, of course, you know, getting to a point where you've been scouted is no easy feat. Like, you can have all sorts of crazy clips in your portfolio, but it means nothing if you don't place well during competition. You know, we don't mean, like, getting top three every single game, but it does help. No, what we are talking about is being good enough to get on the leaderboards. Focus on placement. You know, while this might be a difficult task, like, for now, just try to get into that top 100 and just work your way down from there. You know, many players believe that a kill-death ratio is important, but the true ratio that matters is your placement. To be a pro, you need to be consistently getting high placement and because tournaments award players and eliminations and placement you don't always need to get the most kills in a lobby to get a high placement you know most of the time it's just about playing smarter not harder but ultimately man like you want to aim for consistency I mean, like we mentioned earlier if a player only has one top 10 placement but gets nowhere in every other tournament then orgs literally might pass over you but if you place you know top 20 to 25 in the past five tournaments then even if you don't have that top 10 you're more impressive you know since it shows that you can do that more consistently and so all you really need is a bit more improvement and you can just lower that range down essentially man like you know show organizations that you can win and just keep on winning if you're looking for a bit of challenge to really help you become more eligible, then here is something that you definitely gotta try out. Keep track of all your best records, eliminations, placements, edit course times. Now, make it a goal to beat these records. Not only is this an excellent way to really work your way towards becoming a better player, but it's also a great way to really build up on that portfolio. You know, other players love to see when someone goes from having six kills per game up to like getting 30 kills during a single match. You know, other players love seeing someone with a wild arena score. These kind of record-breaking accomplishments show the world that you're not only willing to improve, but capable of improving in anything that you set your mind to. All right, so for this next tip, think of it like an internship. You know, pro gaming organizations not only look for players that can succeed individually, but also tend to search for players that might be a good fit to just do or trio with one of their own previously established pros. Now, this is why it's good to have some experience playing in a group of people, but you know, not just any people. We're talking about clans here, right? You know, anyone can form a Fortnite group to really play with from time to time, but clans usually have prerequisites that you need to meet before you can join. And so because of this, most of the players you find in clans tend to be more competitive and can provide you more of a challenge. You know, in fact, you know, being part of a clan can also help you guys gain more recognition. You know, it just really all depends on what clan you end up going for and, you know, which ones accept you. And this is why you see so many pro players uploading videos, showing off their skills as a submission for getting accepted. 
So getting scouted sometimes boils down to who you know, right? And that is just one way of just being a pro gamer is just really similar to everyday jobs. Like we mentioned earlier, clans are a great way of knowing other competitive gamers. And so another way to do this is by joining scrim matches where the competition is just as hardcore. But keep in mind, you know, odds are that you won't just suddenly get to just meet someone like Booga and have a ticket into a pro gaming organization. You know, usually the best chances of getting in through connection is gonna be, you know, with other up and coming players. And so it's always a good idea, guys, to really start doing and training with other players for tournaments. Not only were you gonna be able to participate in more events, but you are gonna learn plenty of valuable team building skills that's gonna be required of you should you get accepted into an organization. Now, if your teamwork manages to you know, like help you get good placements together, an organization might consider signing you because they just signed your teammate and they want the full set. All right, so what is one thing every organization looks for when they scout players? You know, it's a face players can really rally behind during big events. You know, nothing gets a fan's blood pumping more than seeing their favorite players fighting neck to neck against opponents and their rivals. So by enlisting the best, orgs can take advantage of the entourage that really comes with them. And so having good charisma, I'm telling you right now, it just means, you know, being able to attract the crowd, right? You know, other players look up to you, other players wanna be you. And most importantly, your fans like your personality because it just gets them hyped for the next event. So if you decide to start uploading clips but your viewers have never really heard your voice, then really what separates you from other players doing the exact same thing? You know, players love rags to riches stories, right? Like they love following players who ooze confidence because it just makes them more confident themselves. So guys, definitely make sure that you put, you know, your mic out and just practice your speaking skills because I'm telling you, it could definitely help you go places. You know, when it comes to having charisma, you also need to make sure that you're mature about it. Remember guys, being famous comes with its perks and drawbacks. And so when you're being scouted, you know, you better not have any stains on that reputation. If you said something bad or you let the sour taste in the eyes of the community, it's gonna come back to bite you. You know, orgs like it when they can just talk to you and discuss professional matters with you. So definitely be sure to be polite, be mature, and just be someone that orgs can really trust with a contract. If you guys want to try learning more about charisma and showmanship, you can definitely try speaking to your audience directly. You know, streaming is a good way to really do this once, you know, you've amassed a good group of followers. This is a great opportunity to really touch base and just show off your gameplay and show the audience that you, you know, listening to them. You know, let them into your inner workings, you know, show them what you can do and show them how you practice and, you know, even give out some tips from time to time. And this is going to help your follower account grow bigger and stronger as you climb up the ladder. You know, if fans feel like they are being ignored, then you might struggle to find an audience later on. In fact, it might even drive some people away and into the hands of other players that they find to be more open. All right, so before we drop you off, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for even more tips on becoming a better Fortnite player. Come unleash your inner potential with us and become a Fortnite pro. Bunch of guys tell me where you at your motivation guys back. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, getting into an organization is a long journey, but one that you can start planning for in a way that is gonna help you guys improve your skills as a player and as an icon, all right? So keep practicing and keep grinding because there's nothing too impossible for you to do. Make sure to connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.